What up kids? Welcome back to the channel. I said I was gonna post daily. I'm doing it. One video a day in the whole month of June. Doesn't matter what it is, I'm gonna make something for you guys. And I'm gonna get creative, you know, it's forcing me to kind of make stuff. Today, I was like, what the heck do I make? And then I was trying to find a piece of paper, couldn't find it, but I cleared out my room and I found two boxes worth of like stuff that you guys gave me a long, long time ago. I still have it, because I don't know what to, do, what to do with it. So yeah, we're just gonna kind of go through it and I'll show you guys what I got. This dude is taking up half of the couch, so I'm just gonna be squished in the corner this whole video, probably. So first of all, this is what I found. It was a box full of bracelets that you guys gave me in America when I was at Warp Tour. Uh, everyone wanted to give me gifts and people kept giving me monster, hairspray and bracelets. These aren't even all of them. These are just the ones I have left. If I can find some pictures of my bracelets, I'll put it on the screen. I used to wear as many as I could on one arm, like fill this whole, was it this arm? This arm, I used to fill this arm. Was it this arm? What? Probably this arm, because I didn't have tattoos at the time. But yeah, I don't know what to do with them all. Like I have so many. Like what do we have here? Of mice and men. It's all gonna be like scene stuff. Dude, be nice. Boom cruiser. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what a boom cruiser is. You know what a boom cruiser is? It's mostly seeing things from the, from that kind of era. You could wear that one. These are great to wear. These ones not so much because they just make your arms sweaty and heavy and can't really wear them. But for now, just for this video, I will wear all of them. Not wear that one. <laughs> I will wear as many as I can without breaking them. The thing is with, with bracelets is I don't know who gave me any of the- Oh, this one's clever. This one's super clever. V1 eye. It's me with one eye out. That is genius. How have I not seen this before? Wow. Whoever made this is brilliant. Like, I hope you're still on the channel because you, you're incredible. Here's a goat that my friend Roxy gave me. That can live in here, actually. So this is about as much as I can wear before it starts cutting off circulation. I found one of the ones I used to make. This little V1i Forever bracelet. I, mean, I used to sell a bunch of those. They were, they were great. But I realized how impractical they are. Like, it's not easy to wear these things. So yeah, I have like, a ton of bracelets. Don't know what to do with them. I'm very grateful to everyone that gave me something. That's why I've kept them for so many years. But yeah, seriously, I don't know what to do with all these things. Just like, there's so much stuff. Like, this is a flower crown. I mean, I could wear that. So anyway, why am I making this? I just wanted to show you guys the kind of stuff that I own. I'm slowly getting rid of everything in my room everything that I've ever owned. And the only thing left is like old games consoles that I don't use. So once those are gone, I want to show you guys, like I want to do like a minimalism video. Basically gotten rid of all my possessions, everything. I have a few clothes left and I have two backpacks and then just gaming stuff and some DVDs and stuff like that. I'll do like an update once I've got rid of, got rid of everything. I also have three laptops. Like I don't need three laptops. Two of them are broken. I don't know what to do with stuff that's broken. Like, do I just get rid of it or do I just save it for when I need to repair it? Like, if I ever need that laptop again. Anyway, so in the other box, this is kind of why I wanted to make this video because I think it's so cute. I used to have so much stuff like this, but I don't know what happened to it at all. This is something someone painted for me. It is a self-portrait. Yeah, it's made by Scarlet. Scarletus. I doubt that's still their handle. Like the people that left their their ads on here, like teenagers change their ads every day almost. Like whoever made this, if you're still out there, thank you so much. I guess I could put it on the wall because I don't have a PO box yet, so I can't really put any any new stuff up there. So until I get a PO box, I I, I can just put this old stuff up. Some drawings that I did. This one's really nice. Like, I wish my hair looked that good. Uh, these are all hairstyles that I have had, but I obviously don't look like that anymore. I still think they're great, like I wanna put them up. I got given so much stuff, and I was in America, like I had to fly back to the UK with all of this stuff. This is like a love letter from my best friends back in high school. Oh, they left a picture in there. It's me and Chrissy. This is old. It says love you lots on the back. Thanks Chrissy. This is a love letter that they, they wrote me. It says, well dearest Jason, don't go. A hundred reasons why Jason shouldn't go. I can't remember where I was going, but I think I turned 18 and I wanted to move out. So yeah, they wrote me a hundred <laughs> reasons why not to leave, because I wanted to go back to England. And yeah, I've kept this thing for 10 years. Thanks guys. I can put that up in here, I think it's cute. Oh, this is from 2012. <laughs> This is a drawing of me from 2012. This was like the first year of YouTube that I started doing. They spelled my name wrong. It's V1, yeah, but uh, I'll take it. I was new. Rachel, if you drew this and you're still out there, you're awesome. I kept it. Uh, flip. This is a letter from 2011 from my ex-girlfriend who died. And I didn't know I still had this. I don't even remember why she wrote to me, but uh, that's cute. I'll read that off camera. 
I, I didn't know that was in here. Another thing people, people would do is they would give me like books worth of stuff. And like, I think some, some of the stuff is so amazing. Hopefully you guys can see it. First of all, it starts with property overview, what I? <laughs> that cute, funny guy that people can come back and watch. That's a quote from my first ever video. Wow, yeah, this, you guys are so creative. I think the reason people gave me so much stuff in America is because it was my first time there and I had a lot of American followers. There you go. There's the old hairstyle. Look how many bracelets I was wearing. Hey, I want to be famous. I don't remember saying that, but I, I guess I did. Dear Jason, currently I am sitting on my trampoline because I can't think anywhere else. I've written this letter about 600 times in my head, but every time I try and put it, put thoughts to paper, I just sound like a creepy fangirl, and I really don't want to give you that impression. I am Jazz, I'm 19 years old, and I live in Australia. I first started watching your videos when I saw you on Becoming YouTube, and I instantly knew that, in a way, you understood me and I was right. From that day, I've watched all your videos countless times and not regret it one bit. You taught me things that I wasn't even aware that I needed to be taught. I used to be afraid of being myself because of what people would say. I used to pretend to be like everyone else just to fit in and that did not make me happy at all. After watching some of your videos, I was shook by starting to learn that I didn't need to fit in to have friends and that the people who were my real friends would love me for who I am, not who I would pretend to be. For a long time, I felt the only person I could be myself around was you. Which is strange, because we've never met or spoken before. It was like we had a connection. You made me feel comfortable in my own skin, and I will be eternally grateful for that. In May this year, you made a video, The Story About My Hair. In this video, you listed 10 ways to help you stay happy. When this video came out, I was in a particularly dark place. It was like you kn knew I needed this, which sounds ridiculous, but that's what I felt that somehow you knew. I was unhappy and you wanted to change that. I would never have had the strength to do what I did, did without you, without your encouragement, and it still astonishes me to this day that I actually went through with it. I feel happy with myself and you helped me realize how. I'm not afraid to leave the house anymore. I would go to all the gigs I want and all the pop culture conventions and fangirl as much as my heart could take it. You made me brave, Jason. You've helped me so much in my life and you don't even know it. Well, I do now. There's a picture of jazz. <laughs> this, is, this is jazz. Jazz, I hope you're okay that I read this out loud. Uh, I'm sure I've read this before, but it's been years, so... Yeah. This book actually came from my tour in Australia, so it's not from America. Oh, that makes sense. There's another one here that has an Australian flag on it. So yeah, Jazz, I appreciate it. Uh, I hope you're doing okay out there. I hope that you're, in, you're not in another toxic relationship. And I got so many letters similar to this. People saying very similar things that I've helped them without even ever meeting them. So I'm not gonna read like too many more letters. I just wanted people to know that like this kind of stuff affects me. It's like it makes this whole thing more real. I sit in my room and talk to myself and through the power of the internet I can actually communicate to people like my words are going into your ears via text. It's like I'm not I'm not there but I'm broadcasting to you and you're receiving it in a way that it was never intended. It's it's all up for interpretation. Everything I say online is up for interpretation like you don't have to listen to anything I say. Sometimes the things I say will affect you. And then the things you say back affect me. It's communication, but in a different way. The generation that we're living in, the tech, tech world that we... <laughs> he just tried to lick his penis with too many bracelets so he can't. <laughs> just this weird tech reality that we're living in is so bizarre. It really confuses me sometimes. Here's a book, here's a bunch of pictures of my old hairstyles. Reasons why we love you. Like, these things are so cute. Why are the Australians so cute? Your hair, your sense of, sense of humor, your taste in music, your tie-dye shirts, positive attitude, your capability to move on from your past in order to, be, to better yourself, your carelessness, your sense of adventure, your Snapchat stories, and your love for travel, your adoration for your subscribers, your videos, your eyes, <laughs> your accent, the ability to make all your, your subscribers happy, your creativity, your ability to turn into a salad. <laughs> Nothing says it's Friday like a man wrapped in lettuce. That's a quote that none of you guys will remember. Drugs? No thanks. The only high I need is the natural rush you get from committing a murder. <laughs> Phoebe and Lucy. Phoebe and Lucy, if you're still out there, thank you for this book. <laughs> I know you gave it to me many years ago, but uh, I'm appreciating it, appreciating it again here in the future. It's me. <laughs> the you and I book. This one, I think, is the one that I was thinking about before. Wow. That's me. This one... It's from the UK. I got this in Summer of the City. Jason, this book is full of messages we, Olivia and Sonia, Sonia, sorry, have collected from your fans to you. Read these when you are sad or bored as, as they will cheer you up. Uh, we met in 2014, and that looks like 2014 as well. I remember her, and I remember her. They used to come to all the meetups. I wonder what they're up to these days. I hope they're okay with me sharing this book. I wanted to share it with everyone on this, on this channel just because I think it's, it's cute. They drew me loads of things. Helen Novelli. Hi Jason, you're the best person. Thank you for making the most amazing videos which will help me through hard times. You're welcome. I'm not gonna read all these out loud because that'll take me forever. Hi Jason, I haven't met you yet but I hope I will. You make my day happier when I watch you on YouTube and I hope you never forget that. I love you. 
Chantel. Thank you, Chantel. Lottie says, hello, Jason. I love your videos. You inspired me to do a five-day parkour session and to be myself. Jason's your videos have always made me smile, uh, even if life is poo, and you've inspired me to live life to its fullest, and I can't thank you enough for that. I love you and stay rad. Thanks, Allison. That's us in 2013. That looks like 2012 or 2013. That's me and Fawn at a show concert. Oh, these all have pictures with with us together. Like this is from America. Hi, Jason. I met you in St. Pete Warp Tour. I'm proud to say that you've helped me stop self-harming. I'd like to hear that. Thank you so much, Caitlin. This is me and Tammy together. We met twice, both 20, 2013, 20, 2013. I love the ones with the pictures. Like these, these are throwbacks. Jason just makes me very, very happy and I'm very grateful I came across his videos. Thank you for everything. Swiggity Swan, you're the bomb. Vic, thanks Vic. There's just like so much in here that I can't read out loud because it'll take me forever. But I, I love this idea. Those two girls at the start decided to put out a call for, for like the group chats and asked anyone that wanted to get involved if they wanted to do this because I knew that they were going to meet me. And they gave me this book. I've I read these like many times. I, I do love them. I wonder, I don't know if any of these people are even still around. Like that's how old these are. Have they all moved on? Has everyone just abandoned me? Like I still exist. I still make stuff. The more attention I get, the weirder my content becomes. Like right now things are calm in my life and online it's quite calm. But when I start ramping up the content, things get weird. I'm about to be meeting a bunch of you guys and I know it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be so weird meeting some of you, some of you guys again because I haven't done any kind of like meetups or anything like that in years. Right at the end of the book, I love this. Just a little picture, a digital illustration of me and just says hi. <laughs> I haven't seen that before. So. You get the idea anyway. I wish there was more fan arts. There, there should be somewhere. But I don't know what's happened to it all. I'll end this video here. This thing really hurts my head. I'm grateful for all of you guys that have been here. If you're a new subscriber and you subscribe today, or if you're an old subscriber and you've been here for like many years, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for finding me online and gravitating towards me and my content. I hope to, yeah, make you happy, inspire you in different ways. I'll continue to make thing videos on like all different topics all kinds of things. I'll be as open as I possibly can online to try and make the world slightly better, slightly brighter in a small, small way. Like I'm planning big things for my life. This is a stepping stone to those big things. So that's why I'm gonna continue doing it. I, I never want to leave YouTube. I would like to continue forever. Uh, if YouTube ends up becoming irrelevant and we all go to a different platform, I'll just move along. For now, YouTube is gonna be my home. I like it here. I wanna keep making things for people that, I, that, that I'll probably never meet. I think there's something really powerful in that. It's kind of the same as like planting a tree and never being able to sit under the shade of the tree. It's like I'm making content for the world and I have no idea who's watching it and I have no idea how long people will be watching it. Like will people be watching this in a hundred years time? Like I don't know. Like there's still TV shows from a hundred years ago. That's that's it for today. I'm gonna edit this and then uh, continue working on my main channel video. My main channel video is about the riots. <sighs> it's a difficult topic and when it when it comes to difficult topics it takes me a long time to really really like dive into it properly. Yeah like the video if you have toes because if you don't like it, you will lose your toes. Leave me some comments, video suggestions. I've got many more days to go in this month and I, I need some more ideas. At the moment, the weather's kind of crap, so I'm indoors. I've got these two guys hanging out with me. Sleepy number one, and then sleepy number two down here. I'm gonna go edit this and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.